welcome to my channel i've been my classes in my previous video i have shown you how we can use pointers in our programs in rpg s400 so earlier uh, i talked about basing those pointers into to character variables and then to uh, unicode variables unicode variables now uh, today i have come across with some other example i created a simple calculator today, today using pointers so which uh, includes uh, uh, operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division only so today i'll show you how i created the calculator using pointers this is the main sub procedure i have written named a uh, simple calculator for which i took uh, three inputs input parameter and all those three are pointer based pointer variables not pointer based they are pointer variables actually so first is the first number and then second is the second number and then third one is the operator that what operation we want to perform plus minus addition subtraction division multiplication whatever then we return the pointer as well in this one so we have uh, we begin with the with the simple calculator sub procedure now we define the pi for that input number 1 input number 2 and then operator it will return the pointer so let's move further then i uh, declare defined i have defined uh, two numbers number 1 number 2 of 5p0 length and it is based on input number 1 this one this input variable pointer and number 2 is based on input number 2 pointer this one so it will hold the value which is present at this address and this address. respectively number 1 and number 2 now operation will hold this is 10a 10 characters so it will hold addition subtraction add subtract multiply or divide so this operation will hold the value at this address okay so at last i have taken some uh, final result variable in which i'll store the result then i am converting that result into character again this one i took this so for that i took this result char variable and now uh, i did some calculations here in free and free block so we can see that we applied select and, and select so uh, there was some conditions when operation is add then add number 1 and number 2 and this will be stored in the result when operation is subtract then this operation minus and when operation is multiply then we will multiply these two numbers and when operation is divide then we will divide these two numbers so finally the result will be stored in result which is 5p0 but i am converting it into characters so i have used percentile char here to convert it to character so final the finally the result will be stored in result char now since this uh, procedure uh, return type is pointer so i have to return the address of this result char variable instead of the value so i am returning the address for the result char variable and this is the end of this simple calculator sub procedure so now i'll create the module for this since it is no main defined so we have to create we creating the service program as well so mod we can see that module calculator plays in library qtm and it is compiled successfully now i'll create service program for the same calculator then qtemp the module 
I will also calculate link to the next poll will be star and oh sorry Twitter. so we can see the service program this created library cheater now so this is a service program and the procedure simple calculator is defined inside this so we have to call that procedure in our calling program so we ha i have created a call pgm program which is calling that procedure so this is the main main pr and pi so this is just placing the anti parameter calling so now i have declared the prototype of the simple calculator which is defined in that uh, calculator service program module module in service program so again we'll talk about this that it will take three input parameter as pointer and it will return the pointer so here also we uh, took three variables standalone variables number one number two operation and finally the result 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 and result pointer so result pointer will hold result will hold the value at this result pointer so this result is based on this pointer and finally we have taken one more uh, standalone variable of 50 for displaying the result so what we have done here we can see that this is the addition part now we have passed two numbers we have calculated here uh, number one is 5 number 2 is 10 then operation is added so now we are calling the simple calculator procedure for addition here because and we are passing the address of these three variables address percentile ADDR of number 1 number 2 and operation so this simple calculator procedure will take the, the input as the address of these three variables and then it will return the pointer so the address will be returned here and since and since result string is based on this one so result uh, this will hold the uh, value at this address now uh, we are displaying sum of 5 and 10 these two numbers like question then we are displaying uh, we are displaying it and then we are displaying the sum is since we are getting uh, the value at this address so we are displaying it here we are appending here concatenating here and then we are dis uh, displaying the result display here see here same is with the subtraction part we have passed these two numbers and then operation is subtract then we are calling the um, same procedure since we did not need to write uh, four procedures uh, uh, add subtract and multiplication and division for each one we have written only one procedure and we are passing the control operation here that is add subtract multiplication and division and controlling it from there itself so again we are displaying the numbers that 15 uh, subtraction of 15 and 2 is then we are displaying the result subtraction is the final result will be stored at this address so we are concatenating and displaying it here the same thing as addition then again for multiplication we have passed two numbers and then operation is multiply and then again we are calling the same procedure by passing these three param address of these three parameters and then we are getting the result and we are displaying it so we are getting the result here and we are displaying it by concatenating and uh, and displaying it with the result display variable okay then uh, again the division part we are passing these two numbers and then operation has divided and then calling the same simple calculator procedure and, uh, and passing the address of these three these three variables and they, then we are getting the result uh, address into this and that address will be will holding the result final result of these two the uh, division of these two numbers so that uh, that is concatenating here and finally the result display will get displayed on the screen and here the last rec uh, record indicator gets on and the program will get exit so now
since we have created uh, the module for this in service program for this and that's the procedure simple calculator procedure that we have used here in call pgm is defined as in this service program so we are firstly firstly we are creating the module for this in qtemp with debug group set as star source so that we can debug it or then we are creating the program using the command create pgm call pgm qtemp call pgm the model into qtemp as well and then we will have to bind that service program calculator okay. we can see that program call pgm created in library qtemp now we can debug this call pgm temp update production mode as star yes opm source as star yes then adding the breakpoint as at line number 1 then calling this procedure call pgm We are into the program. So number one is five, number two is ten. Operation is at. Now we are passing the address of these three numbers into this simple calculator procedure. We will go inside this by taking shift F10, and then we will see that the operation is at here. So this will come into this when select when clock, and the two numbers will get added. And the result will be sold here. Fifty. Five plus ten is fifteen. So, so the result is correct. Now we are uh, casting it to character from numeric. So and then then passing the address, returning the address to the calling program. So it will get the address here. We can see the value. We can see the value by uh, typing a val, then pointer, pointer name, colon c, then the length. So we can see that 15 gets returned here. So firstly, we are displaying this sum of 5 and 10 is. Then the sum is this result will hold that 15 value because result is based on that pointer result ptr. So this will display 15. Then we again we are passing 15 into and then subtract to this. We will go inside this. This will come into this block subtract. Operation is subtract. Then this will minus these two numbers. 15 minus 2 is 13. And this then 13 will get written. The address of this result car will get written. And now uh, we can see that result PTR. Will hold 13, and this will get displayed. Okay. Now we'll pass 15, 20, and then multiply. We we'll go inside this. You can see that this comes into this block, and the result is 300. That 15 into 20 is 300. Now this will get returned. You can again see. What it holds, so we can see that 300 gets at this address. So it will get displayed again. Now we are passing 1015, then divide operation. So again, we'll come into this, and this block gets updated. Yes, executed, and then the result parameter which is 220, and this will return the address of the same. We can see the result is 20. The thousand divided by 50 is 20, so it will get displayed again. So 
we can see the messages in display job log. So this one, sum of 5 and 10 is 15. Subtraction of 15 and 12 is 13. Sub multiplication of 15 and 20, the multiplication is 300. Division of 1050, the division is 20. So we have seen these messages. We can directly call it as well. So I, I just shown you how in debug mode. Now I'll call it directly and show you the results. Now first message is display sum of 5 and 10 is then the result will be displayed as display sum sum is 15. That's correct. Now now it displays subsection of 15 and 2 is it displays the result as 30. That's correct. Again. Now it displays multiplication of these two numbers 15 and 20 is the result is multiplication is 300. That's correct. Now division of this and this 1050. Then division is 20. So that's correct. Finally, this ends. And we have uh, verified our result as well. So this is the simple uh, method uh, by which we can uh, create a calculator by using pointers. So we can, uh, by the way, we can create a uh, calculator simply without using those pointers. But I have shown you how we can use our pointers in our programs so that we can create our code based on those pointers, not by simple way. So this is all about uh, for today's video. And uh, uh, let's see uh, if I'll have some other examples as well for pointers. Uh, I'll show you them in my next video. Okay. So till the time, bye bye, good night, and have sweet, sweet dreams. Okay.